good coding goes hand in hand with search engine friendly web development. Uh, it's closely related to the infrastructure of your website, which is prepared uh, by the SEO blueprint. Um, but most likely, if you're watching this video, you're not a professional coder yourself. So you may be wondering, how do I determine if my website is search engine friendly? Or how do I determine uh, the website that I'm going to be building is search engine friendly? Or how do I determine if my coders uh, are building a search engine friendly website? Um, so I'm going to go over three easy ways for, for you to do this. First, you're going to want to determine how many pages are indexed by Google, Yahoo, and MSN. If you type in the, the keyword phrase site colon uh, and then your website um, into Google, Yahoo, and Bing, you're going to be able to find how many pages each search engine has indexed. So when you find the number of pages each one has indexed, you're going to want to ask yourself, are there major differences in the numbers? Right? So if Google has 4,000 pages indexed and um, Yahoo has 2,000, there's a problem there. Or on the flip side, uh, you're going to also want to ask yourself, do the index pages correspond with the actual number of web pages built? Right? Um, do you have an e-commerce website that, that has 100 products, but you only have five pages indexed in all the search engines? Those are important questions to ask, and uh, chances are if there is major differences uh, between the search engines or differences in the actual number of pages you have, most likely you have coding problems. The second thing you're going to want to determine uh, if you are number one for obvious keyword phrases. There's two tests to determine this. Uh, test number one, you copy your entire header or your H1 tag, um, and in this example we copied four Thunderbird keychains, and then you type that into Google or you type that into Yahoo and ask yourself are you number one or at least on the first page for those keyword phrases. Now when you're going after competitive keyword phrases in your, in your header tag, that might be a little difficult, but this next test will definitely determine. So test number two would be to copy an entire sentence and paste it into Google and Yahoo. And it doesn't even need to be a sentence. You can copy you know, two together. In this example, we have um, almost two, two copied together. And you're going to want to put quotes around that and then and type it into the search engines. And if you're not, not number one for or, uh, an obvious keyword phrase, um, then chances are you have coding issues, especially if your, your website doesn't even show up. Um, so those would be two, cent, two tests that you can do. Chances are you have coding issues if, if those tests fail. The third test that you're going to want to do is check if your menus are embedded with JavaScript or Flash. And if you don't know how to do this, an easy way to do this is to, to view the source code. And if you're using Internet Explorer, you can do this by clicking on Properties and then View Source. If you're using Firefox, you can click on View and then Page Source. And then once you're in there, it's going to pull up something that looks like this. You'll be able to see the code of your web page. And what you're going to want to do is search for keyword phrases, search for your menu links, search for your category links, or search for just random text that's on your, that's on your web page. And if you can't find it, then, then you have coding problems. So in this example, right, our top menu link is license keychains. We search for license keychains, and we can see that it's, it's an actual text link. It's not an image. It's not. It's not JavaScript or Flash because it's, if it's JavaScript, you're not even going to find it. Um, so these are three tests that you can perform um, when when determining if you have coding problems within your website. Uh, it's something that also you can you know take screenshots go to your web developer, go to your programmer and say, hey, these are the problems I'm having. Um, can you please fix this? Because these are, these are coding standards that should be done, um, and this will help you when building a search engine-friendly website.